there are at least six or seven ahadith, three of them at least in Bukhari and Muslim, that mention the sun rising from the west. Now, this is something where, frankly, our minds have no majal. It is explicit, it is authentic, and so, sami'na wa ata'na. There is no ta'wil I can do. See, I'm not that bad. I don't make ta'wil of everything, you know. So, uh, yani you, cannot, you cannot make ta'wil of this. You cannot make a reinterpretation. It's pretty clear. Yani the whole point now, there have been some people who say, oh, the sun can never rise from the west. So this means, mashallah, tabarakallah, American Islam will dominate the globe. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Uh, you know this is a famous interpretation uh, that... Uh, some people of this part of the world, uh, they, they consider that, oh, the sun rising from the west is a metaphor. And the metaphor is that Islam coming from the west shall dominate the globe. And okay, I mean, that's a bit of a stretch because the whole point here, the Prophet is saying, the Quran is saying, when they see this sign, Iman is of no use. This means what? This is a sign that is simply beyond question. It's like the magicians of Fir'aun when they saw the staff become a snake. This is a sign, this cannot be magic. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is not some metaphor for Islam coming from the West because that's not something that is that amazing that the people will all accept Islam. No, that doesn't make any sense. This clearly seems to be something that we just have to believe the very last day of the existence, basically. The very last day of existence, yani the creation will change. And Allah ala kulli shayin qadir, and again, I don't see a problem with this, because we're talking about literally, it's something that is before the trumpet being blown. It's something that it is actually understandable even, that Allah azza wa jal will, yawma tubadar al-ardu ghayr al-ardi wa samawat. Everything will change before the trumpet is blown, and how that will happen, and the metaphysics and physics, obviously, this is another issue where they come and say, and to this we say, indeed, I don't have an answer, but since the texts are so clear, and again, sorry to go back to all of this, but again, there's a lot of misunderstandings, and my humble opinion, the Ya'juj and Ma'juj issue is not clear. That's why I'm allowing all of this. The existence of Ya'juj and Ma'juj today is not clear. As for the rising of the sun from the west, it is explicit. How can we reinterpret that? In this case, what do we say? Sami'na wa ata'na. We follow the Iman of Abu Bakr and say, if it's there, it's there. That's the point that we believe in. So Allah says so indirectly. It's not in the Quran explicitly. But the ahadith are Bukhari and Muslim and multiple Sahaba. And this is the standard position of all of our ulama. And so we say that there is no uh, leeway here and we accept it as it is.